Yo, what is up everybody and welcome to a nighttime game of Madden 13. Or at least that's what it's supposed to be. As you see it says 8 o'clock. It's supposed to be 8 o'clock. Me and my opponent set it up for a nighttime game, so it'll be like Sunday night's game between the Giants and the Eagles. But um I don't know what happened. Apparently he had nighttime route combos. Is my com my um opponent today, by the way. Let's talk about route combos real quick. Cause he's um He's a YouTube commentator, as you probably expect, uh, by the way, I'm saying his name, he does Madden video. He has been doing it too long, he's been doing Madden videos for like, um, two months now, a little bit over. And, um, you know, he got his PBR over the summer, stuff like that, and, um, he's been doing pretty good with his channel. He's already got about 500 subs, so, um, he's doing pretty good, he's a pretty good player, as you're about to find out through this video. Um, and, um, he's, he's got a pretty cool, um, Carolina scheme, so, um. I'll, ha I'll have a link to his channel and to his Carolina scheme because he actually gave me his Carolina scheme for free. It's like ten bucks, I think, but he actually gave it to me so I can look at it. So um, I'm I'm gonna try out that scheme soon. We'll see how how I can work it out and stuff. Maybe I can do the option better than what I did before with the prior McFadden video. But um, here we go. We just got a touchdown. You're probably wondering what where does the blowout happen? Because um, are you gonna blow out route combos? You just said he's a good player. Oh well, nah. I'm the one that's gonna get blown out. So we're gonna figure out how Cookie Boy gets blown out here. This is a video for everybody. This is for the people who hate me. This is for people who want to get a good laugh for their day. This is the, for the people who think I'm a beast. I'm not a beast. This is for the people who um want to comment saying, "Oh, you suck." LOL. This is the video that's perfect for you guys. And um, your mom, your dad, everybody's gonna love this video <laughs> except for me. I'm just gonna be sick. Once I make this video, I'm never watching it again. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. But um, this video, I'm going to teach you guys how not to get blown out in Madden. It actually happens pretty soon here. It's like a quick punch, punch, punch thing at the end of the second quarter. You'll see. Here, you know, I'm moving the ball good. We've got a huge play to Hakeem Nix. Out to red zone now. We're going to take the leader. He's tied the game up. Hit an out slant, slant to Bennett, the tight end. And, um... <coughs> Everything's good here. We're at the two yard line. We should get a touchdown. Here's where it all goes wrong. We do the pitch, and on um, the pitch doesn't work there. Next play, try to do the run, and this is where it goes bad. Here, I have a bunch of curls and stuff set up. Nothing's open. You see, the running back gets open though. That should be a read for me to see the running back come out of the backfield. That would have been an easy touchdown unless he did a big hit and he dropped the ball. But instead, I force the pass. Here's rule number one: Do not force the pass when um you're in the red zone like that because you have easy three points there. Or you want to go for it on fourth down? That's your preference. I don't know, but you have easy three points in the red zone, and you do that. You can't. You can't do that. Just throw it away. You can't. You can't be the gunslinger. All right. Step number two: Don't pre-predict your passes. You see, I wanted to go to that out slant. I hit it earlier. I was like, let me hit it again. I think I hit it a few times in the first game against them. So I was like. Okay, I think we could do this. And um, by the way, I don't know what the hell happened here. I don't know how we didn't make a tackle there. But um, yeah, now we're down points. But yeah, you see, Trent Cole made the pick too. I don't know what the hell that was. Some random shit was happening in this game that I cannot explain. But here's one thing, another thing you can explain: comeback route. You're throwing a comeback curl route. Wait for the comeback to actually happen. Don't throw it right. It's not a curl route. It's a comeback route. The comeback means they're gonna run back to you. But um, I didn't wait for him to run back. I threw it like it was a curl route. And um. Rogers Cromartie ended up picking it off because um, Cruz wasn't even turned around when I threw it, and Cromartie actually was. So here we make a nice defensive stand. Unfortunately, we don't get a pick there, but um, we give up the field goal. But yeah, that's three quick picks. We could have made it a 10-10 game and put him on offense, and who knows what he would have done. Instead, now it's 27-7. The game's almost out of hand because you know I just let everything bad happen. Here's here's another note: when you're running the ball good. Keep it up. This is bad, by the way. This is another pre-predicting my pass. I was hitting him up a few times. He made a nice adjustment on that play. I hit him up a few times, and um, he ended up um, putting a linebacker back there and picking it off. Akeem Jordan was playing like a beast for some reason. I have no idea why. I do like three picks, three sacks, some random, I don't even know, stat line. And I'm here, you know, um, we're bringing up a nice second, third down and 24. We should cover this, but as you see... I was covering the top. I should have been covering the right. I was covering that right side the whole game. But I left it for one play. And, of course, he had some Selleck there. Because I knew a lot of his offense was directed to that right side. So, yeah. Here, fourth down and eight. A was wide open. If you saw A ended up wide open, that was my read on the play. The rest of these are in case the play breaks down. But you gotta, you gotta at least trust your first read and look at it, alright? You can't just, I was pretty much looking at B most of the time. If I looked at A for a second, A came wide open on that shake route. When it shakes, you just gotta throw it to the right there, and that would've been an easy first down. Instead, um, we throw a pick six, and we, I just forced it in there, just because it was fourth down. I was gonna get stopped or whatever, so I figured I'd take the curl route. I saw it wasn't open. But by the way, back to the run game here. Nine rushes for 88 yards. The run game is doing pretty good here, but, um... I just didn't run the ball enough. I mean, part of that was just the end of the second quarter. I was just trying to get in the end zone real quick, but um, you got to keep the running game going. You see, I have like 
Another good run here. Ten rushes for 96 yards. Doing another run here for a first down. I was actually running all right in him in the first game. So, I mean, it would make sense if I tried to run the ball more. But, um, I don't know. I just didn't run the ball. And that's one thing. When you've got a good running game, keep your opponent on his heels. Because, um, that, that's what happens. And there, I don't even know what the hell happened. I was throwing it to Bennett and, um, freaking Eli just... I don't know. Not even Eli. Bennett just didn't react at all to that. I don't even know what to do about that. that that's one. That's just unlucky. So... Well, he end, we end up forcing a punt here. He end up, you know, punting on fourth and one. He's up 741. Don't really matter by now. And um, now I pretty much turned this game into an R&D session here. Trying not play. This was a pretty good play to try out here. Doing a um, play action pass. And we end up getting a touchdown. And um, for this game ends here, I pretty much t taught you guys how to not get blown out enough. I know people are always like, Cookie Boy, can you show, show some tip videos? Well, I'm not an advanced tip person, but I could teach you guys simple stuff. Like how not to get blown out. All right, I hope this video helped you. But um, yeah, some NFL notes since I didn't put a halftime show since, you know, this video is blah, blah, blah. Um, let's see, Giants, they lost the game. It kind of sucked because um, I told you guys, Giants will play the Eagles well, and that's just what happens. And um, yeah. We ended up missing that field goal there. I don't know. All the play. That's why you got to love the old refs. Because they blew the call in the third down against Awesome Law. And then they pay him back by giving the offensive pass interference. And then I don't know why we attempted the field goal with time. Because that was out of his range. But, um, whatever. And this is just unlucky, too. I don't know what they say about that. But, um, let's see. That was. That, this dude just makes a freaking crazy ass pick. I don't know what to explain that either. I mean, it was a pretty good, um, play by him. But I don't know what the. Um, by, like, play call. But, whatever. Um, let's see. The Bears just wiped out the Cowboys. The Cowboys have a tall... How, they have such a good Madden deep offense, but it's just so terrible in real life, and you won't see it. Um, let's see. The Ravens, I think they won. I don't really remember who they played, but they won. Oh, yeah, they played the Browns on Thursday night. They pretty much, like, wiped up the Browns. Um, the Falcons. The Falcons made a crazy play there. They sh um, The Panthers had the game in the bag, but Cam Newton fumbled the pass on fourth down or the run. On third down, forced him to punt, and Matt Ryan just threw up a prayer, and the safety blew it on Roddy White, and they got the field goal. Um, the Cardinals are still 3-0. I don't know how they're still 3-0 to be on 4-0. Like, they probably should have lost that game against the Dolphins, but um, just a little bit too much mistakes by the Dolphins. And, um, yeah, the Texans blew out another team. Patriots went off on the Bills after they lost early. Um, Cincinnati won. They're not really a good team, but they're 2-2. Two and two. Um... You know, some other games, Chiefs were, like, sucking ass and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, stuff like that happened. Just another week in the NFL. Um, Minnesota, surprisingly, 3-1. and one. They look all right. And um, Detroit looks pretty bad. <laughs> and, um, yeah, on that note, I'll see you guys later. Um, subscribe. I don't even know how you want to subscribe after watching this video. Like it if you like me getting blown out. You're not going to see this for a long time, all right? <laughs> so, save it while you can. And I'll catch you guys next time for more Madden 13.